everybody. Welcome back to the Dahlia Society and I hope you're excited because today is my first day of the Twice As Nice series and we are focusing on special occasion Christmas dresses in the next couple of weeks, especially in jersey knit dresses. If that interests you, keep watching. You dear old man, whisper what you bring to me. Well, who doesn't love an easy, quick make in time for Christmas? We are we all want to wear something really glamorous for Christmas, especially if you're going out to something special like a party or a work do, that type of thing. But we're all time poor and let's face it, not many people have time to get uh, something so that has a lot of fitting issues. We want to have something that looks great, that's easy to sew, that we can maybe make in one weekend or even a night that would be even better. So my quick fix for Twice As Nice this first session is jersey dresses. Now, the last few episodes I've done, I've had quite a few people request for me to do a wrap jersey dress. And I'm going to tell you about my favourite wrap jersey dress. So my favourite wrap jersey dress would be the Vogue V8896, you can see here. Now, Vogue patterns are not really that cheap. They can get me quite expensive. So the best way to buy them is when they have a special. Sometimes in Australia here in Spotlight, we can get two patterns for $10 if they're on special. If they're not, they're usually $30 a pattern. So that's quite an investment. So to me, you want to try and get the best value you can out of your pattern dollars. So with the Twice As Nice, we are focusing on getting two very different looks from the same pattern that will look basically like two completely different dresses given the different fabrics and different styling we can do with them. The first dress I made in this pattern I was really happy with. It's with, just with a jersey uh, or an ITY stretch polyester, which I don't normally go for because I find it doesn't breathe that well. But to me, the fabric was just kapow. It stood out. It made me want to wear it. I didn't care what it was made of because I'd never seen a pattern quite like it. The, the full-on geometric print, I've got it on the mannequin here. And I'll pop some photos up of me in that as well. The reason I love this dress, uh, people will say all the time, red and pink, I'm not sure if we wear that together. Believe me, red and pink are such a great contrast together because they're, they they just pop together. The colours, uh, when you put them together with the yellow, it really stands out. So if you've got a colour that's in a pattern, find the coordinating or the opposite on the scale to the color if you look at a color wheel the red binding just bring just pops the red out of the garment and you'll see with the pink it really stands out and makes a lovely contrast so don't always go with what's the main color in the garment and stick to different shades of it go for something totally different so as i said with the red it's a total contrast to the pink and the yellow and the navy but there's pops of it in there so that really brings the pattern out um, and whenever I've worn this, I have had people stop me and ask me where I've got it from because, um, as I said, it's a geometric print. It's very bold, but you can dress it down as well, which is what I love too. You can put boots with it. You can put leggings under it. With this pattern, it doesn't actually say to put a separate facing on the front, but I've just done that myself. I've made a jersey vice binding just out of a ponty knit, which is a little bit more of a stable knit than what the actual dress itself is made of because that's quite a drapey jersey. So you don't want to put a drapey jersey binding on a drapey dress. You want to get something to bring it in a little bit. So the ponty just brings that nice line and holds it all in nice. And I've made the tie as well in that. Um, it's a nice sort of thick weight. So this dress is so easy to construct. I did mine in like an afternoon. The main part, the hardest part was cutting it out. Make sure you've got a really wide fabric. Don't go for the narrow knit. Go for the wide if you can because your two front pieces when you cut them, they, they take quite a bit of fabric up in the width wise. So you've got to make sure that you have enough either to, um, to fold it under or to have two separate uh, front skirt panels. So don't get stuck and think, yeah, I can just put, fit that in one, in one width because you usually won't. So if you've got a 150 width, you need to open that right out flat and then mirror it underneath for the other cut piece. The back piece itself, you can just do on a normal um, fold. That's quite easy. So you do need to look for a wider knit fabric to, to make this work. So with this pattern, as you can see, there's a sleeveless and a short sleeve version. I actually wanted to do the long sleeve and I found it quite easy to adapt. So I just lengthen the sleeve. Just as you're grading the pattern down, you can add either a bit of um, tracing paper and follow the lines down, or you can just extend your fabric down as well. And if you wanted to get just that little cuff on the end, 
you can just add the cuff on just like with a bit of overlocking and that just um, you know you can have that way you can have more of a billowy sleeve or a tighter fitting you don't really need that cuff on the end but to me I just thought it really um, added a nice little feature to the long sleeve. That one I did in the midi length as well and that was mainly because the fabric you, it does eat up quite a bit of fabric so you're not going to be able to get a maxi dress unless you get quite a bit of fabric so you're looking at four meters maybe for a maxi dress. This I've made in three meters of each of these and that is um, just sort of a calf length dress. this dress too it's not too gapy at the front you can really bring wrap it around tight um, this particular one I've got on here is in a stretch velour um, this was lovely to sew I have got a walking foot on my Janome that I bought separately which is great for doing velvets or velour or quilting or anything thick and if you've got a fabric that will slip the walking foot will help you glide along nicely and sew that up this one I've just done in a zigzag edging. I didn't put any binding on this. I just folded the fabric in. So you don't always need to have the, the, the actual bias binding. You can just fold your fabric in. And I just think it looks gorgeous on its own. The velvet, um, let the fabric speak for itself. Let, let the fabric be the one that's on show, not the style. So the style itself being very simple, it allows you then to get a really dramatic fabric, something glamorous, something a bit more luxurious. Um, and that you can let the fabric do all the talking. I don't have an issue with this at all unraveling. I um I find it's got a fantastic amount of um, wrap around the front and I've uh, wrapped my tie around twice or sort of front and back, tied it on the side. If you tie it on the side where the um, V goes down across then it looks like the tie is actually part of that. The dress itself easy to construct as I say the only issue I had at the end was one of my pieces of the um, stretch velvet had a little fault in the front it was right on the very front piece which I was just like typical isn't it has to be the front piece so what I did I actually sewed up my little hole that was in the side of the um, seam which is where your tie goes through I stitched that up made it on the other side and made the wrap go around the opposite way. So that way I hid, hid the fault, which was lucky for me. So yeah, you make a little, uh, in the in the seam, you make a little uh, like sort of a stitched hole, which is where your tie goes through. So it goes through on the internal part and wraps around on the other side. So quite easy to construct. Um, yep, you're just gonna sit in your sleeve, which is really easy with a jersey fabric to do as well. Not much to really think about there. The pattern's very straightforward and I love uh, being able to whip it up really quickly. One thing I have to say is that whenever you have a deadline and you want to make a garment really quickly because we all get these um, hairbrain ideas, we're going to hurry up and get something sewn up because we can do it, we know what we're doing, that's when everything usually goes wrong. Um, yeah, this one actually um, was, you know, I have, gave myself a bit of time. So try not to rush it if you can. Think forward planning a bit, have your fabric ready, have it all cut out, ready to go. Maybe cut it out the night before and sew it the next night. So I don't recommend sewing the day of an event because you will always run into problems because usually stress factors into it. We rush and that's when we make mistakes. So as I say, it's a quick sew, but don't go too quickly with it. The sizing of the one I got was a 16 to 24. I uh, sewed at the size 18 because I know from uh, previous Very Easy Vogue patterns, I'm always an 18. Being with Jersey Stretch, you don't have to worry about fitting issues again. Not, not, not much to worry about there. So the 18 worked really well for me. I'm normally a 14 to 16 and ready to wear. So I always go up a little bit with the with any kind of um, big four patterns. So yeah, look at your bust, upper bust measurements. And that's being a, a lot of ease in the garment. You'll usually get the best fit then for yourself. So I'll pop some little pictures up of me in the velvet dress. Uh, absolutely love sewing with stretch velvet. I think it's a really underrated um, fabric because it feels lovely to wear, it's luxurious. There is one tip I'll give you though when you're sewing with stretch velvet is always look at the nap of your fabric. Now I've run into this problem before with corduroy. Being a bit stingy wanting to save fabric, I actually had a pad piece one way and thought I could put the other piece the other way so I could fit more room. 
no, 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 don't do that because the nap and the pile of velvet and cord and that type of plush fabric, you'll get to two totally different looking colours when you match them up with your seams. So the, the front of the pants looked like a light caramel, the back looked like a dark sort of coffee colour. So it was a disaster. So this time I made sure I had all my pattern pieces running the same way. And always look at your pile the way it looks. Um, we always want to look for velvet, brush down the smooth smooth effect if it brushes up and it feels a bit sort of rough that's the wrong way so you always want to look at the pile going down anything to do with a nap with like velvet or cord jewelry you've got to make sure your pattern pieces are running in the same direction so when you can see your pile of your fabric if you run your hand down and it's smooth the whole way down if you go back up you'll see the piles running the opposite direction so you've got to make sure that they all run in the same direction if you don't do that when you place all the pattern pieces together you'll get two varying colours. So just stroke it like you would with a cat. So you stroke the fabric, it's going to be velvety and soft going down. If it feels rougher going up, you've gone the wrong way. So always have your pattern pieces going that same direction with your grain line. To me, nothing says Christmas like sort of a red or a velvet or even a dark teal green or a bottle green velvet. It's so lovely and uh, festive to wear. You can pop little diamante earrings on with it, some heels. I've just got some little... Um, polymer clay earrings because I didn't want to go too full on with the whole glamour thing. You can um, pop a nice little heel or a boot on and this dress is, is ready to go. It's a sort of good thing with a wrap dress too. You can do a lot of layering effects with turtlenecks um, and as I said, if you want to do a short sleeve, you can pop a nice coat over it. So it's it's warm to wear um, but not too hot. So I mean, being in Australian summer, I could quite easily wear this and not feel too overwhelmed with the heat. Um, with the with the short sleeve so play around with the sleeve lengths with the sleeveless with the pleating on the shoulders it gives that nice little draped effect and it brings that whole drape line down to the crossover effect so a lovely design on and I really recommend trying out this pattern if you wanted a jersey dress so as I say really impressed with very easy vogue patterns everyone I've tried I have had great success with a lot of the big four patterns as I say I've run into fitting issues with very easy vogue I've never really had any fitting issues at all so I'm always willing to try a new pattern from these guys because to me it's um, they've always given that lovely line and um, the jersey itself just gives that fluid drape as you can see two totally different fabrics one print one plain gives a really different effect that way you are getting more looks out of the one pattern and as I say you could do a even a French terry in it you could do a more stable ponty knit it really depends on your own creative um, aspect and what you want to bring into the garment yourself so don't be afraid in looking at color and don't be afraid in bold prints because you can tone them down depending on what you wear with them. Have a bit of fun this Christmas. I hope you like my first twice as nice uh, presentation here. I'll be bringing you another jersey dress in the next couple of days. So that way you've got a few things to choose from. I just think it's a fantastic idea, as I say, to get your value for money with your patterns. And look at things that are really beginner friendly to sew as well so that really any um, any level sewers can tackle that garment. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you again to my lovely subscribers for your comments. I'm welcoming comments and ideas and suggestions for different twice as nice patterns. If there's something you want to see done two different ways, please let me know in the comments. Uh, thank you to my uh, the beautiful people that have also donated to my coffee account, which is linked below. Um, that's been it's a great always a great help to put towards the content I'm producing for you guys to keep everything up to date. And also thank you just to everyone who's watching because the more thumbs up and likes I get the more watches and the more content I'm able to bring you for the future. So get cracking on the sewing if that's what you're after. Try and uh, feel around for a bit of fabric. As I say, try not to rush. Try to be a little bit more organized. If you're wanting the maxi length in this style particularly, look at a bit more fabric allowance. And yeah, have fun with this and let me know how you go if you end up sewing this pattern yourself. So thanks for watching. Let's get festive and I'll see you very soon for the next Twice As Nice. Bye.